the news just broke. Elizabeth Warren is dropping out. She's ending her campaign for president. And obviously now the big question is, who does she endorse? Does she endorse, I mean, obviously on a ideological and a policy-based sense, she's much more closely aligned with Bernie Sanders and his ideology and policy platform than sleepy neoliberal centrist Joe Biden, uh, who doesn't support, you know, legalizing marijuana or free college or canceling student loan debt. Um, all things that Elizabeth Warren supports to varying degrees and you know obviously she's not as um, progressive and populist in her policies as Bernie but again she is more definitely more closely aligned ideologically and um, her policies fit in much more closely with Bernie's than Joe Biden's and so yeah there's a few possible outcomes she endorses bernie which obviously greatly helps bernie's chances of becoming the nominee and you know she encourages her supporters to do that as well i think um you know it would make sense for warren supporters to support bernie because again the two candidates are the most uh progressive in the race by far and so it would seem like you know Warren voters their second choice would be Bernie and not Biden who doesn't represent any type of progressive tradition at all so um, that would obviously be the best case scenario she drops out endorses Bernie encourages all of her supporters to do that as well and then you know second uh, scenario um, which obviously would be pretty pretty devastated for Bernie is if she dropped out and endorsed Biden and um, I think that would be a huge political miscalculation on her part she would lose any type of goodwill she's built with the progressive or populist left uh, movement and those communities within the United States would just be completely um, alienated and just totally put off if she did that and um, just yeah all that goodwill would just go completely down the toilet and obviously it would really boost Biden's chance of winning the nomination if um, you know, another candidate drops out this time, the only other somewhat progressive in the race drops out and endorses Biden. So obviously that would be hugely troubling and problematic for um, Bernie's campaign and the Not Me Us movement. So let's obviously really hope and encourage her to support Bernie and not Joe Biden. Um, third scenario would be her dropping out and not endorsing either candidate which would be I, I would say that's quite a bit less likely than the first two scenarios I say it's at this point just because of her attacks recently her um, kind of right-wing attacks against Bernie with regards to um, health care or trying to say that he's in favor of you know taking super PAC money or saying that He's inconsistent with his stance on superdelegates, so that does give me a little, a little concern. Um, and it's been reported that Warren spoke with both uh, Bernie and Biden's camps uh, yesterday, so she's been in contact with yeah both Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, and I yeah I just again really. <laughs> hope if that if she does endorse somebody that it's Bernie she doesn't endorse anybody then um, you know I think her dropping out would still benefit Bernie by and large because again I think her supporters uh, are more closely aligned with Bernie's than than Biden's and so 
think that would have a slight benefit to Bernie if she drops out and doesn't endorse anybody. Um, so those are kind of the three possible outcomes. She endorses Bernie, it's the best outcome. She endorses Biden, that's the worst. She doesn't endorse anybody. I think that becomes a slight benefit for uh, Bernie Sanders because again, they're the two candidates most um, closely aligned with you know, progressive values and a progressive platform like uh, free college, canceling student loan debt, um, things like that. And so the question is, you know, what was said during those conversations with both Biden and Bernie? Were they both, what were they offering? Were they both offering that Elizabeth Warren the to be the vice president in a Biden or a Bernie administration? And, you know, if that's what it takes um, to get Warren to support Bernie as opposed to Biden. Um, I think it's unfortunate, but I think we have to bite the bullet at that point and accept her as VP because again, if she drops out and endorses Biden because Biden was willing to give her that VP slot and Bernie wasn't, um, it's gonna be a really long uh, way to get to the nomination for Bernie at that point if she drops out and endorses Biden. So again, I would much rather have, let's say, you know, um, a Nina Turner or a Ilhan Omar, somebody like that, as a VP, somebody who, um, you know, hasn't compromised on a lot of these bigger issues like Elizabeth Warren has, but then again, this is, um, you know, politics and sometimes, unfortunately, you have to make those political calculations where you kind of make the lesser of evil choices, you know, is it better to win and get the nomination with her as the VP or is it better to lose and, um, you know, really just stick to your values or whatnot. But I think, I think Bernie, you know, he is a politician, he is a realist, he understands the gravity and importance of defeating Donald Trump and actually getting a populist left candidate into the White House. And I think Bernie would be able to push her hopefully more to the left on issues like, uh, you know, Medicare for all and whatnot. So they would be, um, you know, on the same page on those things. So again, you know, she's not my first choice for VP, but if that's the concession that Bernie has to make in order to get her endorsement and so she doesn't endorse Biden, if that's what it comes to, then it's a political calculation I think um, I think Bernie Sanders' team has to be okay with and they have to be able to make that calculus. So um, yeah, again, Warren, Warren dropped out. Now we just need to wait and see what she does best case scenario um, well yeah the best case scenario would be Warren drops out um, endorses Bernie Sanders and Bernie Sanders didn't have to make her the vice president maybe secretary of the Treasury um, you know something like that would be best case scenario in my opinion so time will tell um, I, I think we'll probably know in the next couple of days who she endorses if she endorses anybody and um, yeah again just it's a really pivotal point in the in this presidential campaign and her decision to endorse either one of the candidates will have really um, some pretty big consequences for the race going forward so those are my thoughts I would love to hear yours about Elizabeth Warren dropping out of the presidential race at this point what do you think what do you think she will do peace much love